Hey, it's Sam, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to advanced first block building techniques for Rue. I'll show you how to build the first block using the four main first block building approaches, and I'll give you some tips for how to recognize which approach you should use depending on what you see in inspection. What I have here is a drawing of all the different first block block building approaches and how they're categorized. So we're gonna start with DL because you've probably already used DL, especially if you switch to Rue from CFOP because it's the most similar to F2L. So DL is split into the first pair, the center and DL attached like that, and the second pair or the front pair back pair would be more accurate. So you start DL by attaching the DL edge to its corresponding center, and then you insert one pair, and you insert the other pair. When you're doing DL, your pair insertion should all be with some variation of an F or B move, and that's how you should be ending the block, unless you're doing something like inserting the DL with S moves, but that's pretty rare. If you see DL one move away, or maybe two moves away, or attached, and you see free pairs, or one move pairs, or, or two move pairs, then that's a good sign that you might want to use DL on that scramble. The next kind of first block approach we're going to talk about is square. So square is very similar to DL, but you've just already had part of it completed by luck. So on the scramble, you'd see a two by two by one block, and if you decided to use this for your first block, then that would be a square um, first block because the square is already done. So you have the square and then you just do your other first block pair. In essence, this is very similar to DL. You're going to be ending in some sort of B move or if the square is on the back instead of the front, then you're going to be ending in some sort of F move. And it's super easy to spot because a huge chunk like this is pretty hard to miss. And also, if there's a convenient pair for the second pair, then that's good to spot too. But often, it's nice to take squares because they help you plan really deep. Although, sometimes they're not the most efficient solution. Now we're going to talk about half lines. Now, half lines are really where first block approaches start to get interesting. This is a half line, and it's very similar to the square. So instead of being given the square for free, what we're doing is we're building it using two half lines like this. So instead of a DL and center pair plus uh, a F2L pair, we're doing two horizontal half lines on the cube. So I'll show you what that would look like. So this is an example. Here we have this edge attached with this center, and that's a great way to spot half lines. When you see an edge attached to a center, that is a sign that maybe there's a nice half line there. You have this corner here and this DL edge here, and all you'd have to do would be R prime, D prime. So see, that's a way of building your half line. Some important things to note are you can build this half line from anywhere. So if the DL were over here, per se, then I could do D prime and then like this. Or if both the corner and the DL were over here, I could do a B prime and then a D2, and it would still build the square over here for me. And also here, I'm just inserting the corner, but I don't need to insert the corner. I can do the DL edge. So if I have the corner down there, I can insert the DL edge with an M move and insert that in there. Or if it's in the back, right? Then I can do a R wide move, and then a D, and I have the square done. And then after you have your square from your half line done, 
then you proceed to do the pair. The final type of first block we're going to go over is the line. This is what a line block looks like. As you can see, it's a half line, except it's a full line. So we have this top row and this bottom row. And here's an example of a super simple line block. So we have this right here, which is what uh, in CFOP you would think of as a pseudo pair. And I'll show you why. Because you have this corner, right? And you have this edge. And if you imagine for a second that the back left edge is here, so this is blue, this is orange, and that you have the um, re red, blue, and white corner here, and then you do a D prime, then there will actually be two pairs here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We have this pseudo pair, right? And if we insert it into this very conveniently placed sort of half line, these are two half lines right here, but they're not matching, see? So if you put them together, that's not going to make a square. And that's going to be very bad. But we also have the pseudo pair here. So when we insert this pair, this edge is going to come in and be attached here. And also this corner is going to be attached here. And as you can see, now we have two full lines and we can just put them together with a D prime move. And, you know, there are a ton of different things that could happen with lines. So you could have something more like this, which would be harder to spot, but still really good. Right, you do an R prime, then you do a U, then a B, and then you insert this pair. And you build your line block like that. So how you would spot line blocks is, one way of spotting them is finding these pseudo pairs. Whenever I see a pseudo pair like this, then I immediately look to see if there's some line block. Uh, also, if there's half lines, so you know, here we have two half lines, but they mismatch. And see if, if these two are back here, then what we could do, right, is uh, maybe we could do R U prime, R prime F2, and then that would make this line here. And then we just have to finish this line here. We could insert the corner to the back. We finish both lines and we put them together and we have full uh full line first block recognizing when first blocks happen takes more experience than the others and you really just have to experiment to see how you can set up to line blocks and what is uh what are giveaways for when there are line blocks before i conclude i'm gonna tell you some tips for how you can practice and explore your first block block building so something I would do to just look around and see how first block works is just build yourself a quick first block and just apply, you know, apply some moves onto that first block and see what they do. And then you're, you might say, you know, you could do a, a BR prime move and you'll realize, hey, I can actually insert this pair with a R B prime. Right, you you can learn things you didn't know before by just undoing by doing moves and seeing what they do, and then you know that the inverse of those moves uh, is a, is a solution. And then another great way to improve your blocks is to use Onion Honey's fixed first block trainer, which I'm gonna link in the description. It's a great tool. Start really low move count. Start with three moves, and learn those basic inserts, and then go up to four moves and five moves as you get better. And those are the four main block building approaches for building your first block, as well as some first block practice tips. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it's going to help you out. If you have any comments, definitely do not hesitate to leave them down in the description, and I will answer them, see if I can help with any questions that you have. If the video helped you out, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.